Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be looking at this problem called meetings, meeting rooms two. And because this problem is about meetings, the question of the day is what features in a meeting room makes it nice or cool to be in? Please let me know in the comments below. And so this problem we're given an array of meeting time intervals and they have a start and end time, S1, S2. Uh, E1 and S2, E2, and so on and so forth. And we want to find the minimum number of conference rooms required. Now, in this problem, it tells us that SI is less than EI. But I think a good question to ask in interviews because sometimes this problem could be presented as they'll just tell you that there's an array of meeting time intervals and they have start and end times. And it would be good to ask, like, hey, what's the what does the input look like? Is it a list of lists, list of tuples? Might mean a little, matter a little less for Python because the way you get each individual element within a tuple and a list is pretty similar, but maybe for a different language, it matters a lot more. And so one good question to ask is if the start and end times are well-formed, and by well-formed, I mean that the start is always less than the end time. Because what if they give you a meeting room where the end time is before the start time? Like, is that just a flaw in the engineering? And what, what are you supposed to do in that case? So that's one good question to ask. Uh, yeah, in general, it's good to ask clarifying questions because otherwise we might be solving a different problem, like we could be spending time trying to check that uh, S, uh, try to handle the case where the start time is greater than the end time, but if the assumption is already that start time is less than end time, then we would be wasting our time. So that's one good reason to ask clarifying questions, and the second reason is that we want to ask because maybe, because if we don't ask and we assume that's not a case that we need to consider, then we might solve the problem and not take a case into account, and that will not look very good in an interview. So now let's take this problem and we can play this uh, input. You can see that here's the, the intuition is that we want to process the meetings with the earliest times first. Uh, if you have a list of meetings, you want to start the first meeting, the meeting with the earliest start time, because that way you give more time for the rest of the meetings. So our first meeting is 0.30, and this will be occupied in room 1. Our next meeting is 5.10, starts at 5, ends at 10. We say that room 1 can't uh, remove, can't, won't finish before, the next meeting so we have to create room two for this now the next meeting we have is 15 20 and we see that it starts at 15 and we have one that ends before 15 which is r2 so we can remove this and then place 15 20 and at the end result after we process everything we see there are two rooms so we return two. Now let's take a look at this case. As we said before, our intuition is to process the room with the early start time first. We would have two, four in room one. And then we see that the next meeting is 710. And the start of this meeting is after the end of this meeting, so we can replace it. And in the end, we have 710. So we <coughs> see that for this algorithm, we process in increasing start times for meetings. Now, one other good question to ask for a clarifying question is what do we do when there are no meeting time intervals? And uh, when that is, you know, that, that case is, well, this could just be a base case, but it's also good to ask anyways. Maybe you want to return something special, not just zero, but 
In this case, we want to return zero. And we saw that after we process an increasing start times, we want to store, see this R1, R2, we want to keep track of how many rooms there are. So we can make a room array to keep track. Now the thing that's special about this data structure is that we want to remove from this data structure, which we call a room array for now, we want to remove the time that is earliest, the end time that is earliest. And so best way to do that is to use a heap. So instead of calling array, it's a, actually a heap. And this will allow us to remove with n log n. Where n is number of elements and intervals. Because the worst case is we need a room for every single meeting. Yeah, so our algorithm is so far as we process each meeting in increasing start time for intervals. We have a heap to keep track, number of elements in, number of elements in intervals, and so each time we would check if earliest meeting that ends in a room will finish before current meeting. If so, then remove earliest meeting. Then add current meeting. So see in this case 0, 30, 15, 20 or we have 5, 10 before, right? We have 5, 10 before and then we check the next meeting which is 15, 10, 15, 20. The 15 it ends, it starts after R2 ends. And so we would we have R1 and R2 on the heap, and the heap is a min heap with 10. So we can we'll remove that from the heap. Then we add the current meeting, which is 1520, onto the heap. And so we see another case, which is even if that's not satisfied. Uh, meaning when we have 0, 30, and then we see 5, 10, we also add this onto the heap. So that is why we always add the current meeting for each iteration. So first thing is to check if intervals. So if we have no intervals, then we return zero. And then we process each from the start. So we do intervals dot, dot sort. And then we do Q for lambda. That way we could choose to sort on the first element since we have start and end times. So each, we have a list of lists. So X of zero means we're looking at the first element, which is SI. So we'll sort on the start time. Next, we need a heap, so we'll call it room. And we'll put the first element from intervals on. And zero, interval zero grabs the meeting times, the start and the end. And we want to put the end time, so that would be the first element. Oh, let's call it meeting. And the reason why we go from one to the end is that the first element, or the zeroth element, is already inside the room. Now we check the earliest meeting. So 
can see if the end time is less and equal to median of zero. So that's another thing that would be a good clarifying question is to ask if a meeting ends at three o'clock and a meeting starts at three o'clock, does that count as you needing a new room or you don't need a new room? And so for this problem, if a meeting ends at three o'clock and another meeting starts at three o'clock, you don't need to book a new room, but that's a good clarifying question to ask uh, before proceeding. And because when the meeting is the earliest meeting that is booked and is already ongoing, if it could be removed before the next meeting, then we'll remove it from room. And then as we said before, we always add the current meeting. First element tells us where the heap array is, or the heap is, and then the second element tells us uh, what we're inserting. So we're always inserting the end time. <coughs> and then in the end, however number, however many number of elements are in rooms, that will be our number of rooms that we need for minimum number of rooms that we need for the meeting. Let's submit, check it out. Current end time of rooms. Ah, I see. Well, let's call that rooms actually. It just looks a little nicer. I guess it could be plural. All right, awesome. Looks like you submit. And well, let's talk about run time for a little bit. So we have to sort. And this will be O of n log n, uh, where n is number of elements exist. And then also we have a heap. And the heap will also be O of n log n. It's all for runtime. And then so overall runtime and then space complexity is O of N because heap and uh, well the case is that all intervals meetings need a new All right, well, that's everything for today. Hope you guys learned and had as much fun as I did. Please like and subscribe if you want more content and leave a comment below for feedback and just, uh, yeah, anything you want to discuss, uh, please let me know. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and have a great time.